Okay, look, I know I'm in North Carolina, okay? <laughs> However, you too will develop what we call wearable technology. Hello, everyone. I'm Robbie Melton. Um, if you attended the session before, pretend that I'm new. Uh, I'm your last speaker, okay? So you have to keep me on time, even though I'm hooked up with watches, rings, and whatever. But again, my goal is to let you see what has happened in technology since you went on vacation, <laughs> okay? So again, uh, I'm going to run through but what you need to know that Tennessee Board of Regions, 46 campuses, it's called a BYOD system. Bring your own device. So on behalf of the IT staff, you better have one of these to hook up everything and everybody. So as a thank you, because you have the IT VP, he needs one of these too. Ladies and gentlemen, those students are gonna come next week <laughs> with things that you'll go, I never heard of that. They're gonna hook up to your system to things that you'll go, and what is the world is this? So I'm here for the next 50 minutes to say, wake up, look at your cell phones, because you know they're old. You know, those students are going to come here with those Samsungs. By the way, that's your number one. And then poor iPad. Oh, gosh. But they're coming. They're coming with things that you're going to go, never heard of that. Here's our surprise, everyone. What is this? It's a Game Boy. We have our students hooking up with their Game Boy. By the way, this is powerful. It's already 3D ready. Things come right out. And when they bored in the class, they looking alive, but they are just playing games with people all over the world. <clears throat> so let me share with you our strategic plan. And by the way, wake up, educators. Some things will work, and some things will not. Life is good. Life is good. We have to shape this. As I said before, we're not going to allow them to invent the internet, and then we sit down and go, <clears throat> won't have the internet in my classroom. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> and if you think, I will not have mobile devices in my classroom. Again, as I shared this morning, Prepare to stand at the door and strip search all of your students. Because right now, I'm hooked up to the internet with my watch. This watch is a cell phone, a camcorder, a heart rate. In fact, I can beam all of you right now. OK? I have earrings that hooks to the internet. I got clothes that will hook up. So when you say, we'll not have any mobile devices, you don't even know. So again, I'm here to let you know what's happening out in the world. So here's our strategic plan. And here we go, as we go back to the strategic plan. Don't you just love technology? I do. Welcome to the Tennessee Board of Regents.
And I want you to know that was created with an iPhone in 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, yes. Technology will change the way we teach and learn. So again, let me prepare you for a little research, and this is going to happen. And I want you to check this out. By the way, any video that I present, you're welcome to have it. By the way, I will be 62 years of age in a couple of months, and I remember when I had a party line. Look at the growth. <laughs> now it's Candy Crunch. You think you had enough? No. So again, just a little stats. All right, everybody, let's rock and roll. We have these devices. You have them. Your kids have them. Everybody has them. On the bus, on the boat, on the plane, they have these devices. Where is education? Why is it that these students eat with them, sleep with them, date with them, mate with them? <laughs> they do, seriously. But where is education? To me, if you're carrying around the, one of the most powerful computers ever, but you're only playing Angry Birds and texting under the table, what's wrong with us as educators? Why can't we put educational content on these devices? Well, we are going to do that. Let me share with you. Here's your stats. In terms of mobile devices, playing games. And for education, we only use it for 5%. You all should be saying, that's not going to happen anymore. Because we're going to shape the way students are using these mobile devices. And now, I want to set the tone of what's happening with these devices in terms of changes. And by the way, do not buy a phone until October. Work with me here. There's a major war. So I want you to watch this. And again, just work with me so you can see what's happening.
Here's your 920. Outdated. Here's your new Windows phone. Outdated. Ooh, here's your Blackberry. <laughs> Samsung. Ooh, boy. This was the 3S. Outdated. <laughs> iPhones coming in. I have one, two, three, four, five, and you know they're going to be 100. Outdated. And now you have your Samsung S4. How many has the S4? Anyone? S4? Great, because it's outdated. <laughs> It's a war, and our students are coming to us with all of these phones. These phones are unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the S4. This is where you can just wave your finger and it just jump out. Look at me. <laughs> I want you all to understand there is a role for mobilization. There's a role for all of this. So I want to just take you down the line and share with you what your phones are now turning into. Look at there. This is what we want these phones to do for education. And many of you are sitting there and your phones can do that right now. Some of you should be going, oh my gosh. Was that enough? No. All right. Let's see what else. Next generation. Now. You should be looking at your phone like, you mean right now I can do this? The answer is yes. You think that's enough? Do you have enough time? Well, I do. Here's some more. <laughs> Look at there. And I have the drumsticks right here. One more time. Wow. Your college textbooks will come on these devices. That's a fact. I don't think you can take anymore. <laughs> Let me just share with you about the need for a balance. We have to look at when it's appropriate. Emma. To de determine the best use of your mobile device. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me just share with you the world has changed since your vacation. I want you to look at Sesame Street because you know whatever happens within Sesame Street, 
is shaping our kids. This is the impact of mobilization. This is, and you'll see by the video that the parents are taping. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't learn, these are two-year-olds. Look at them. They can't even speak. The camera's going to swing around. Don't worry. I want you to look. No instructions. Got an iPad on the floor. Some banana song. I want you to watch the movement, the problem solving. So it stops. Watch. Now you're gonna see something where it turns off and it's the wrong video or the wrong uh, website. Again, ladies and gentlemen, they can't even talk. They're in diapers and they're utilizing these mobile devices. Now, watch. We're educators. No instructions. They're in diapers. <laughs> Look at the attention span. Watch what happens when they find their song. So again, the impact is right there. I want to share with you in terms of and now, an exclusive scoop about medical the school. According to W24.nl, you can now make an ultrasound scan with your iPhone. The so-called iEcho app with ingenious software delivers images of your unborn baby whenever you want. OK, did you all hear scanner, that? Which is included. <laughs> On your belly and check the video. And it's with your phone. On your skin. And of course, you can share your scan on YouTube or Facebook. <laughs> I think it's a boy. Next, Barack Obama. So, again, I want to share with you what happened while you were on vacation. This, to me, is a miracle. When you see this next video, you cannot leave here to say, oh, I don't know if we can use this as a teaching and learning tool and what it has basically transformed in terms of a life. My lab makes ears. The invention that we have uh, discovered is a way to uh, print living This cells. is your 3D printing coming in. My laboratory is interested in regenerating cartilage, 
wherever it's found in the body. The process starts with a scan of an ear. You sit someone down in a, in a chair. You'll be able to do that with your iPad and your iPhones or tablets. Then you can very precisely map out the topology of the ear. The next kind of key step is developing the ink for this printer. This ink is actually a living ink. It contains living cells. It's alive when we put it into the printer. It's alive when it comes out of the printer. The real power of the printing technique is that it can be used to make geometries that you just can't make with any other technique. You can make parts with holes in them. We can layer and, and cover and, and put different uh, cells next to each other to create really the complex organs that make up our body. And after two months in an incubator, the tissue fills in and looks white, just like real cartilage. The implants that we're making um, are not rubber or, or plastic. Um, they are alive. They, they uh, grow. Live uh, tissue. Alive. And this has a whole host of advantages over, over conventional technology. The body accepts these materials like it's part of the body because it is. Our long-term goals are to change the way that, that uh, clinicians practice, to give them the next generation of implants that will be uh, more successful, more like real tissue, but it will last in the body for, for decades. That didn't, th I mean, you all should be going, what? <laughs> this type of technology is now. Again, I'm not going to play all of this, but you all need to prepare for Google Glasses. It's here, and yes, it costs $1,500. We're not going to buy it. Look at us. Uh-uh. Your students are going to buy it. And they're going to come right here with their glasses on, and you won't have a clue of what they can do. Take a look. We have some coming in the fall. Oh, no, no, no. Google's pulled them back. They're having a little problem, and I can share with you why. Here's your Google Glasses. About a year since Sergey Brin introduced glass to the world with an amazing demonstration of Google I.O. featuring skydiving and mountain biking. And we're not going to do anything quite that exciting today, but I do want to try to give you an idea of what it's like to wear glass in the real world. It's an incredibly promising technology, but it's also one that's got some pretty strong challenges to overcome. Oh, yes. So what do you get for your $1,500? You get a headset that can give you navigation, and that's perhaps the most compelling argument. I want you to know they're having some problems with ADA with these glasses. Um, they're running into problems with students in terms of those who are at risk for seizures. So again, a lot of things come out cool, but until we look at safety, security, networking, we need to just kind of hold back. Other functionality, you can do some Google searches as well. So I'm going to hold there because, again, this is a technology that is still, how about, it's not ready for prime time. I shared this this morning, but for those of you, um, let me just go back. We need to see this. This is something that we're going to get this fall. And it's a roll top portable computer. And maybe it doesn't want to roll over here. So we're going to try this one more time. And if you notice, this does not bother me. It's like, well, maybe you don't need to see the roll top computer. <laughs> Check this out. I'm still paying for a computer from five years ago.
By the way, Samsung is coming out with a flexible phone later this fa um, fall where you can bend your phone almost paper thin. You all should be going, what? <laughs> and again, I shared this morning, just for those who, this is your infrared um, technology coming in. This is your keyboard. Yes, you can type on me. You can type on whatever. Again, on behalf of the Tennessee Board, we're able to purchase these things to find out toys, tools, or just junk. Or is it just cool? Everyone look at me, this is just cool. <laughs> I mean, when you pull it out, everybody's going, wow, wow, for $300? No, no, uh-uh. <laughs> we also look at technology. This is a document camera. And again, this morning, I didn't share with you this piece. This is a new piece coming in. This turns into a microscope. But by the way, this is your document camera that you know as your Elmo, et cetera, et cetera. Please know when we receive these things, we test them out in the classroom. On behalf of Walter State Community College, they have been testing this for three years. And the verdict, everyone, life is good. <laughs> life is good. They're able to use this in their biology and chemistry classes. They take it out in the field. And the cost, $60. It's, oh, yes, it will take stills, video, et cetera. Life is good. It's called the real name? I don't know. I have to look it up. We call it the Baby Elmo, OK? <laughs> That's why you shouldn't use nicknames, OK? But I have the name up here, $60. And I'm here to share with you, it works. So again, we have things up here, new, old. And let me just move you on while I'm over here. And, I'll sh and I shared this this morning, then I'm going to get to some new stuff. With your cell phones, ladies and gentlemen, you save lives. This is a blood pressure cuff that you hook up to your cell phone or to your tablet. OK, one more time. Somebody in here has high blood pressure. I know. We can save your life now at all times. You hook it up to your phone. OK, everybody look at me. Something's wrong. We're talking about high blood pressure cuff. We're talking about your cell phone. You put the two together, you save a life. How do I know? True story. My husband, call him up, Thomas Melton. He's still living. He doesn't believe in all this stuff. All he knows, the house is always loaded with stuff. <laughs> When I shared with him that we're using this in our nursing programs and allied health public, look, we go out in the field and we take and we compare this. And I hooked him up. And it went to 130 over 120. Oh, you all know about high blood pressure, huh? <laughs> he said immediately, I told you that was junk. <laughs> now everybody look at me. He should be very happy I love him. <laughs> I could have agreed. But I knew from the data coming in across the state of Tennessee that this was serious. Luckily, I had a program where it would email the doctor. <laughs> Luckily, we got a call to say, bring him in instantly, right away. Luckily, I'm a nagging wife. I probably, yes, I probably sent it up a little bit more. Luckily, they were able to treat him, and he's on high blood pressure medication right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you can shape all of this. No longer can we sit in a classroom and pretend that technology has not impacted the way we teach and learn. So on behalf of students with disabilities, I have for you, which I did not share, this morning, which is the reason why you had to come back this afternoon, we have new products coming in. This is the keyboard for those who are blind. 
It fits right on top of your iPad. It raises, and this is a winner. Yeah, who said wow? You need to see me because a lot of these companies will say, we will send you a sample or a product for you to test out. So don't think Tennessee is rich. <laughs> we know how to beg, okay? <laughs> so over here, I have some other items. And I just demonstrated a couple, but not all of them, on your iPad. Oh, if it falls, life is good. We have where you can turn your devices into telescope, microscopes, name it. Look at all of the lenses I have for your devices. Yes, we have used them, and yes, they work. No longer can you play Angry Birds. You now have tools that you can use for teaching and learning. So let me move to some of the new tools. One of them isn't working because I don't know how to delete a file off of Windows 8. <laughs> However, ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you what I have. I'm going to move right into, I just love this, right into something brand new. Oh, I have to share this one with you. And this is our welcoming to mobilization. also known as bringing your own technology, is a way of designating the trend where students can bring their own laptop, tablet, smartphone, or even handheld gaming console at school and use it for a variety of learning activities. I want now, you all to know I'm going to stop this. What are the benefits? We also have a term in Tennessee, B-Y-O-N, because many students will bring that. Bring your own nothing. What do you do in a classroom where you have students without any devices? So we have to address that. But by the way, in terms of the Star Trek, look at me. Yes, it is now where in the future you'll be able to take your phone and I'll be able to do a medical exam by just going up and down. Not only that, I do have a device here on behalf of workforce development. You take this little device, you put it in your phone, you rub it against your skin, and it will let you know how dry you are. If you need moisturizer, <laughs> on and on. <laughs> However, ladies and gentlemen, let me stand over here, take a deep breath, because right now, which should be coming this fall, there will be an app where you take your mobile device and you hold it over your skin, and it will let you know the first stages of skin cancer. Well, thank you. You all should be going, and I'm still playing Angry Birds? No, let me say that one more time. With your phone, you're able to hold it over your skin to look and detect the first stages of skin cancer. Oh, that's coming. You know that's coming. <laughs> I also have an app that you blow in, which I'm going to share with you in a minute. So if you drink too much, <laughs> you blow into your phone, and not only will it tell you you're drunk, <laughs> it will not allow your car to start. Oh, that got you? <laughs> now, I'm going to share with you what got me. 
I have right here, and where is it? All right, you have to understand. When you think you've seen and heard everything, no, you haven't. This is your dog. <laughs> yes, D-O-G, your dog. Okay, you put this on your dog, and you're able to send your dog emails and communication <laughs> and whatever. Um, I mean, we, I mean, you know, like Lassie, come home or whatever. I don't know. Okay. However, because I don't have a dog, look at my face. Do you know this is a big seller for tracking your pet, calming your? How many of you have a, a dog? And right now, you would like to calm that dog down. Well, you just put them on. Look, put them on and just talk. Calm down, Lassie. Go, okay. But again, the technology has reached that level where you too can email and communicate with your dog. So as we move on, I'm going to share with you some brand new technology. What I have that might work and it might not work is called leap motion. Here it is. Here it is right here. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Watch what it will do on behalf of those students with disabilities. You plug this in. So as we wait for Robbie to plug in, we're in. And we're going to leave PowerPoint. We're going to type in leap motion. Why not go to the orientation? Here it is. You plug it in and you put it in front of your machine. I just love this. They pay me for this, by the way. <laughs> You're looking at brand new technology. It hit the market only three, four weeks ago. Now watch me, I love this. Let me take off my ring. And I stand. I'm interacting with my computer. Hey, everybody, look. Hands in the air, yes you care. Look, okay. And I just back it out. It knows to stop. So you're probably saying, that's really nice psychedelically. <laughs> Told you you have to have a sense of humor for this job. And you see my fingers, both hands. I can interact with this computer now. I can turn it off, on. I can even dissect a virtual frog on here. You all aren't even thrilled? I'm over here just playing my little life away. <laughs> this is brand new technology coming out. And the possibilities are endless. I'm going to also share with, oh, I got to draw. Why not? This should be interesting. And you, you didn't like the abstract art here? Well, I mean, I didn't get a clap or anything. OK. Um, well, thank you. Let's move on. I'm going to the iPad now. I'm going to rock and roll. For those of you who were here this morning, you're waiting on something new. I have your something new. I have a T-shirt here. University of Tennessee. I know I'm in North Carolina. This is what your students will come to you with wearable art. And we're going to zap that T-shirt. So first of all, I'm going to go on to my air server. We are piloting air server. What is air server? 
let me just break it down to you. I'm able, if it works, and we hope it will work, there it is. I'm able to walk around without any wires. To me, that's a miracle. I don't have to stand there. And again, it has its advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages is only cost $4, one-time cost. Yes, you have to use the network, but it's better than Apple TV. And I know they're recording me. Life is good. <laughs> I'm here to let you all know what works. And then again, by the way, this is outdated. Everybody look at me. What's in a luggage someplace out in the world that didn't make it here? Something called a Y-pad. What is a Y-pad? A Y-pad allows me to mirror and show what's on my iPad without being hooked up to the internet, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. One more time. <laughs> now, I'm not an uh, IT person. I think it goes by radio signals or whatever. All I know, it works. <laughs> but what I recommend it, it's a little pricey, a little cumbersome, and eh, just hold on. It'll probably be $5 next week. <laughs> Let me share with you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to zap this t-shirt. So I'm going to go down to NCAA and I'm going to go to Tennessee. Prepare yourself, North Carolina. <laughs> Students walk into class and all of a sudden they hold it up. I know you hate that song. It's football time. You should have a t-shirt. What's wrong? Well, I want you all to know that you do, but not. There's one from North Carolina. Yes, and it is North Carolina. OK, OK. All right. Now it's time for, for me to show you some of the cutting edge apps. Some I demonstrated this morning, but some I held back. I have to share with you some apps. So if you didn't catch it this morning, you're going to catch it again. Pretend it's new. On behalf of student services, look at this app coming in. It's sign language. Look, every, look everyone look at me. It's sign language. And all you have to do is just type in what you want. And John, we named him John. John signs. I didn't hear one person go, wow. wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, see me after. I like that. All right. Now, this is where we, as educators, come in. I can sign. I'm saying for the first time, you can see signing from the side, from the back. You can put John in the bed and he's signing. <laughs> I'm going, this is a mural. No, it's not. When you look at John, because of my area of special education, I notice something is wrong. John should be moving his lips. What happened to lip reading? Well, I called him up. You know I did. I'm like, what happened to John? Well, you have to understand, the people who are creating these apps are not really educators in the discipline that you all are sitting there. That's why you all got to look at these apps and evaluate them. And if you don't like them, don't cry about it. Pick up that phone, email them, and guess what? They will change. Let me share with you an app that I did not show, but we worked with the company. And, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, I hate bugs, and I had to work with this company. Place the specimen in the dissection pan left or side out. Select the pins from the tools. <laughs> look, look at me. Uh, okay, I got sad news. Sad news. Everybody listen up. Sad news. What's coming 
And trust me, when I say to you what's coming, that means Robbie's had her hands on it and have observed odors. Odors are coming, <laughs> odors. You'll be able to smell it. So you thought, I don't have to worry about it. It's coming. Can you believe odors are coming? Look, hey, whoa, wake up, everybody. Odors, you'll be able to sniff your iPad, OK? <laughs> OK? But back to this app. Oh, here, welcome. We're just having a good time. No, life is good. I want you to notice something. When we started working with this company, they only had two categories, dissected little frog and videos. OK, everybody, freeze. I started teaching in 1972. To show a video, we had to thread the thing. We had to thread it in a, a, a wheel. And it never made the wheel because it ended up on the floor. And then you had to take scotch tape and tape it back together, or you would never get another video from the department. <laughs> you got apps with built-in, I hate this, video. Look at the quality of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to say on behalf of education, we work with this company. Now you have a quiz built in. You have assessment. No, I didn't pass that either. Um, you have interactive activities. So again, we're able to shape. Now this is why I'm standing in front of you. I'm not here to wow you out. I'm here to bring you results. We have used this particular app, and we have data to come in in terms of engagement, retention, and increase scores. If you put content where those students can get it, even if they're sleeping with their iPhone, they do, then maybe they can just turn it on while they're sleeping and they can learn by obsolescence. I don't know. But again, I have some apps that I need to share with you so you are prepared. And in Tennessee, eat your heart out, if you find apps of this nature, we pay for it. OK, one more time. In Tennessee, across, look, over the mountains, we believe in mobilization as teaching and learning tools so that if you see a game-changing app of this nature, as a faculty member, you don't have to worry about paying for it. We send you the code. So I got a couple of apps that I would like to share with you. By the way, this app. It's built in with experiments, and if you tap on it and you put on your 3D glasses, you'll see it come up out of the iPad. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. I'm just being, um, look, I'm giving it a rock and roll. I also would like to share with you on behalf of the humanities. This is a college book coming in. Look at this. All right, this is Virtual Rome. I love Virtual Rome. You know why? Look at me because you can't sit in the seat to learn about virtual Rome. You have to get up and walk, OK? <laughs> you got to get up. And by the way, I have it where it is toggled into Rome today with live educational camera. And then I can go back to virtual Rome and actually see Rome long time ago. And so if I want to see Rome, Rome I just walk around. If I want to see what the sky was looking like, life is good. I can go to the left. I can go to the right. Look at this engagement. You all should be going, oh my gosh. But no, who said that? <laughs> uh, see me afterwards, because I have little tokens. Seriously, I have apps that I give away. All right, everyone. Oh, good. Who said that? Oh, we're going to rock now. Heart Pro. Let me talk to you about this one. There was Heart Pro 1, Heart Pro 2. We made Heart Pro 3. Look at this. Everybody has a heart. Well, we said, wouldn't it be nice if the heart would beat? See, that didn't thrill you all. I'm not in the medical field. It thrilled me. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at the heart. Oh, oh, come on. This is easy. This should be a game show. 
<laughs> First of all, I'm going to go in. I'm going to change the heart. Look, I can mess with a heart. I'm not even a surgeon, OK? You like that? Oh, no, no, no. Let's try to cut into the heart. Look, I cut into the heart. And let's see what happens when I cut into the heart and how it's going to bleed and all of that. I don't know. All I know, with the iPad, with this particular app, if you take your hand and put it under the iPad, out of the case, it is made where you can pick up the beat. Now I'm getting ready to rock and roll. Not only that, we have apps so that when you're studying the heart and you need to listen to different heart beats. No, I didn't know her. She asked me. So here we go. I have every type of heartbeat. You put this on the iPad, and then you are able to pick up all of the heartbeat and diagnosis and the whole thing. I'm not through with you yet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I got regular stethoscope. Here's the big boy. She asked, the rest of you are just sitting here. OK? This is just for you. Why don't you check this one out? She wanted 3D. She should have asked for 4D. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You can't do this with a book. You all should be going, I don't, this is unbelievable. It's an app. You're working with me now. You're working with me. OK? Look at this. I'm going to share with you how to get a lot of these resources. All right, everybody, check this out. And that didn't thrill you. Oh, I have some apps. Trust me. Are you all ready? Here is an app coming in, and I love this app. All of us should have video time machine. What is video time machine? You see that wheel? Well, it goes back to 1860, but I don't think any of you can remember <laughs> living back in those days. So let's just go to a good year like 1952. What this app will do is bring up all of the ads, a sampling of the ads from that year the games from that year, the sports from that year, the news. Can you imagine a classroom where you can go in the app and you can bring up the news? How about TV programs? And it's already organized. And not only TV programs, music, movies, whatever. But I got the app for you. Well. OK, that's right. I forgot to make an announcement. When I present, they have some kind of tracking on me. They who? They companies. And when things are free, they know, mm, there, there you go. Let's raise the price. So when you see some of these apps, and yes, I have the list for you, take your time. Take your time. You know, maybe wait tonight, tomorrow, download. But if you see a cost, that's because they know, oh, she's been presenting these apps. And then they think they're going to make some money off of us. No, they're not. So again, <laughs> I know the code. All right, here's an app that you want. Used to be free. I think it's still free. When they say you can't run Flash on your iPad, here's the app. Here's the app right here. But I got a better one than that. That was like yesterday. It's called iSwifter. It's free. All you do is type in your URL, and it will run your Flash animations, whatever. How many of you would like to have not one, not two, not three, but four browsers open at the same time? Well, here's that right here, and that's free. Yeah, Google. And then Google's again, the next browser, then I can have a third browser, on and on. But forget that one. I don't even like that one. <laughs> How about for your students an app called Split Note? 
I love this one. Why? You have a browser and you can take notes at the same time. Oh, you like that one? Oh, yeah, you haven't seen anything. This one is free. It should be free unless two days ago everybody started downloading. But this even will let you file. But on behalf of, let me go through the free ones first. Kobo, K-O-B-O, download it. It goes across platform. And look at me. It will give you 1.5 free million books. Oh, there you go. OK. 1.5 free million books. And if you don't like books and you like magazines, you have Flipboard. Flipboard is free and it's updated. You can even pick up Oprah. But here's my claim to fame. Let me talk to you about technology. And of course, you have iBooks. I'm going to bring up one that I love. I want to share with you the dynamics and the impact of technology. As you know, if you don't know it by now, I'll be 62 years old. I've lived a long time to see changes in technology. This one right here is my number one app. Why? Because if I can't remember a song, I can hum it. Even off key, I can hum it. And if I hum it, it'll bring up the song. All right, one more time. Let me talk to them over here. They didn't catch it. You know, for that senior moment, <laughs> and all the thing you can do is just think of hum one little bar, this app will pick up your humming and let you know. So we're going to give it a try. As you see, all right, and when I hum, don't shout it out. What you're looking at, the dynamics of this technology. Now, all of this is falling into the entertainment. What happened to education? That's why you all are here. Because we have to take hold of this, edu all of this technology and make it for us. So here we go. All right. Some of you are wearing glasses. You lose your glasses or you run over them. And what will happen? We have an app where you put in your prescription and <laughs> walk around until you get to your doctor. Now, I know time. I'm wrapping up. I'm wrapping up. Trust me. I have some apps that I need to share with you all. Texas Instrument, I shared with you this morning. They said they would never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, 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 have an app to take the place of their T app. What? Hey, guess what? They got an app. Here's an app called I Read, I Write for $19.99 for freshman comp. Don't write this down. Mm-hmm. $19.99, mm-mm, 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 it's not working out. That's why we got to keep in track of each other. I'm going to go to, oh, all right, I have to say this. I'm on tape. Okay, there are some other apps that you all need to know about. Um, let's look at the technology of it, okay? One is called Trapster. OK, well, this will help you in case of an accident to reroute you. But it will also let you know where your friendly law enforcement people. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we're going to cut off Trapster. We're going to decline. But yes, you have that type of technology. Please know that I do work with law enforcement when I see apps 
that I think will impact safety, security, your personal privacy, all of that good stuff, I call in. One was called, get me a woman. <laughs> you have to be very careful of the information that you put online. What this app was able to do was pull from Facebook all those who check 30 and under and single and pull it into a Google Doc and whatever, uh, and then trace you at home. Let me just wrap up with a couple of more because I know that you all need to go home. I have to share with you Word Lens. You can't go home without Word Lens. I love Word Lens. All right, who have something printed? Oh, you do. You're going to love this. All you do, you hold it over, anything printed, and it instantly translates into Spanish. Oh, that got you, didn't it? Okay. That was the one I was going to forget. One more time. Word lens. If I can hold still, it instantly translates. Oh, I need, well, that's okay. Look, they, everybody can turn this way or that way. Just know if you hold this, and let me see if I can hold it right and I'm holding it incorrectly. In other words, everyone, watch this. You can go up to whatever and it will translate. And of course, Tennessee is a name, so it's not gonna translate. But it'll take any printed material and it will translate it. You thought, yes, oh, oh, that's nothing. And as we start to wrap up, I have some other dynamic apps that I would like to just share with you before I leave here. Now, I talked to the um, participants this morning about Nearpod. What is Nearpod? Look at me, everyone. Educators, faculty members. I can walk in that door and ask all of you to pull out your mobile devices, iPads, blue pads, Blackberry, laptops. And through this app, I can take over your... Okay, one more time. I can take over all of your devices. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you all are students. I'm the faculty members. No more were you going to just surf the net and play Angry Birds and Candy Crunch and pretend like you're looking at me. Uh-uh. The app is free. You have your students to download the app on laptops, Androids, of course, Apple. And what I have here as the teacher, I can push instantly, and it will show up on all your devices. Not on, oh, it, hey, no, no, I'm getting good. Not only that, you can do polling, clicking. All oh, this is free. And I can even send you a video that you watch, and here's the big boy. I can send you where you can draw or write, and as soon as you press submit, I have your information right here where I can see. I can test with this. I can do PowerPoint, slideshows. I can take you to a web. You know how you say to your class, would you all go to www, whatever, and three hours later, someone is still <laughs> hunting for that? No. <laughs> I put it here, and I press, and it will shoot to your device. And here's the last part of this app. Look at me, because you got to go home. You think you want to go home, and you're working on this app, and you turn it off like, I'm out of here. It instantly lets me know who is not on task. No. No, you know I wasn't going to let them go with that. No, we be YOD. I have to have it on all of them. And this company. I mean, what controls it? Your iPad or? Well, there's a teacher edition, and there is a student. When you click on the app, you'll see student or teacher. And if you're student, you get a code. If you're teacher, you do whatever. Last app I want you to um, see is called Ask3. This is a new one that we're piloting that's not on here. Watch what I'm going to do as I wrap up. 
I'm going from the big one to the baby one. You know I must have grandkids because everything's a baby. And I'm going, you see how I'm changing these devices? Yeah, you because here's a baby iPad. You know they're coming out with a new one. And you're going to see a college book. And that's where I'm going to leave you off on. The college book that I'm going to share with you that I'm going to have to turn off one of these devices. And get me back to the iPad and then let me on. You're going to see a college book from Al Gore, who invented the internet. <laughs> you all got to have a sense of humor. You know Al Gore going to call me up on that. <laughs> and here it is. Come on. You can connect. That's because I got everything else connected there. I'm going to show you, and then you're ready to go home. This is called Our Choice, one of our best apps out in terms of what a college book will look like. And he's still loading on this one. I'm going to turn him all the way off so you can see what a college book will look like. And take me off, take me off the internet. And then you're ready to rock and roll. And I am now off. And I should now be on. Here is your college book, and I'm going to need someone to come and demonstrate. Wow, look at all of the hands. Come on, come on, come on. Let's, this is environmental science. And it's called Our Choice. And if it's not on the screen, life is good. You never stop teaching. This is how it looks. And this is a new way to assess. Ladies and gentlemen, I end with this. Let's say I presented a whole lesson on wind tunnels. <laughs> now it's time, with the help of technology, to look at assessing concepts a different way. Instead of a multiple choice, what's a wind tunnel? Draw a wind tunnel. We want you to blow. I've done it on that. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. Come on right here. Ladies and gentlemen, what she's going to do, she has to light up the house. Oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> and you know I have to send you an app for this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the test. We've been studying about wind tunnels. And now I want her to demonstrate, and you're going to blow. And just blow and blow. Come on, blow, come on, you gotta blow a little harder. Okay, right here, blow right in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, blow, 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 blow. And the house is now lit. Here it is. Well, this is where I end. I don't want to keep you any longer because some of you have a drive. I'm on my way to Michigan. I'm gonna have them to blow in the snow. Please know we have to shape this. Your students have this. And guess what? School will start next week. I want to thank my host. Where's Scott? Hi, Scott. And if you would come, Chris, if you would come. I want to thank you so much. On behalf of all of this, I will send various resources to them because here's my pledge. Anytime I have companies to send me resources, apps, things to test out, look at me. I always say to them, well, it'll work in Tennessee, but I'm not sure about North Carolina. They have a different wind and water and trees. And I don't think it'll work in North Carolina. And guess what? They'll go, wow, I didn't know that. We better call North Carolina and see if they would test and get free resources also. So thank you all very much, and life is good. <laughs>